Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Charad. The letter that Paul writes to Titus is giving guidelines of what it means to be a community leader. What does it mean to be a Christian community? And he gives directives of how to live in a world that is getting more and more secular. In the passage that we have in today's reading, Paul is giving Titus some directives on how to be a good Christian leader. In everything, set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned, so that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about you. So, what are the qualities of a teacher? The first quality of a teacher, as mentioned by Paul, is this. In everything, set them an example by doing what is good. So a teacher is called to be a model. While you teach, they must look upon you and say, Hey, now I understand what you're teaching because I can see it in you. Your very lifestyle should be what you are teaching. So what are the three qualities that he mentions here? The first, show integrity. It follows from being an example. Integrity is what you're on the inside, you're on the outside. Or in the case of teaching, what you teach can be seen in your life, or at least a desire to live it to the full. There is no place in your teaching to make a show of yourself. There is no place in your teaching where you want to see what can I get out of it. There is no place in your teaching where there is power, but complete humility. The second quality of a teacher, seriousness. You must remember that you are ambassador of Christ. And therefore, we don't get stuck in petty issues. We focus on the essentials. We don't keep grudges and we don't blaze into an anger. There is that kind of seriousness and yet that gentleness that comes from Jesus himself. And the third quality of a teacher, soundness of speech. What you teach is not your doctrine. It's what comes from our Christian faith, from the mouth of Jesus himself as you are guided by the Spirit. Our aim is to give what the Lord wants us to give. Then St. Paul says, if you keep to this, if you set yourself as a shining example, and if you show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech, then those who want to condemn you will still be there. There will always be people there to condemn, but they have no reason to condemn. They'll be ashamed because they have, can find no fault in you. And so now, something for you to think about. In everything, set them an example by doing what is good. Does your life stand up to the expectations that you have of your friends, children or grandchildren? If I need to make one specific change, what would it be? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.